Hey everybody. Hi, <laughs> so I'm gonna go over a lot of things of what I do to help get people started once they join my team. So one of the things we talked about last night was somebody was asking, so what do you do with somebody who, you know, either doesn't move as fast as you think they should be or you're not sure where they wanna do or things like that. I always get with people and I give them homework. This is one of the first emails that I send to people and I think he'll show the script up there, but I'm gonna go over it with you and I'll be happy to share it with you if you want it. But um, it's homework and it lets them know a lot of the step, first steps to do and I tell them, this first email that you get from me has a lot of information. All your other emails won't be as long, but it has a lot of information, but it's your homework and it tells you step by step what to do first to get you started. And then you get back with me as soon as you've completed these steps. And so when they get back to me or how long it takes them to get back to me, kind of tells me where they're at in the game and how they want to play. And so a lot of times that can also help you as a leader to teach your people or find out, gauge where they're at and what they want to do. You know, because everybody's different, right? There's some women and men who, you know, would be happy with an extra 50 bucks a month. I've got women on my team that are a lot of homeschool moms and things that, you know, they want to join and make an extra 50 bucks a month so that way when they buy their husband his birthday gift, it's not with his own money, right? It's their own money. <laughs> and then I've got some people that, you know, they want an extra $500 a month for a new car. And then I've got some people, you know, that want an extra 5,000 a month. And some people want an extra 50,000 a month. So, you know, so it's wherever they're at, it's okay. They can do whatever they want and you take people where they are and work with them for what they want in their life, right? Not, it's not what you want, it's what they want. And so, um, so one, of the, one of the first things I teach people is where our training is at. They go to, um, I teach them to go on the company website and you click on the resource center. In that section, if you're not on that page, you need to go to that page. There's tons of things you can download, tons of things you can look at, read, videos, all kinds of training, the past conference calls, you need to listen to some of those. Um, you can go to all those different things and check out everything that's on that page and go back there often. I usually go back like once a month just to kind of look at things and see what's there and what's been updated. And the next step I tell people is you want to send out 10 cards and one gift. Now, of course you can send out and we want you to send out more, but that's your first step. Pick 10 people and it's not a sales spiel, it's just give to give philosophy. You just send out 10 cards and at least one gift to somebody. You can send more gifts if you want also, but that's your rules for your first steps. And the next thing is to create a campaign. So if you've never created a campaign, what that is is like for me, I've been a web and graphics designer for a little bit over 20 years. And with that, a lot of my clients, I'm gonna gravitate to the same birthday card. A lot of times I'm gonna say the same message and I'm gonna hit send. So instead, I can create that as a campaign. It's kind of like a canned message, except for a canned card. And so you pick up the card you want, type your message and you hit save and you call it like 2015 birthday or what have you. So that way, instead of taking 40 seconds to send a card, you can send it in three seconds. And the next thing I say is to add contacts. So you want to go in there and add your contacts. I tell them to add at least 10 to 25 day one. Of course you want to add more later, but this is your first steps. We want you to get you going and start using the system and figuring out how it works. And then you want to set your personal website. So you go to the corporate site at the top of the page under the little head icon and you click that and you set your personal website. So this is how I set mine. I put it for six points and a dollar. So that allows them to send at least two cards. And for me personally, I set mine at 180 days. 
And I go ahead and put 90, 999 accounts because that's the biggest number that the system allows. But that way you don't have to remember and go back if you want to add more later and somebody doesn't go to your website and find out that it doesn't work. And so then also you want to set your website as something. So everybody has sendoutcards.com slash your ID number. And that will always work no matter what. But a lot of people have, you know, their ID numbers 579432, right? And who's going to remember that and who's dyslexic and not going to type it in right or whatever. So you can change it to a word. So you want to change it to a word, no caps, no spaces, something easy to spell, easy to remember. So think about it, try different things, see which one you like and pick one. Then also your other websites, you have sockphotostore.com slash your ID. So that's like all the places where you can get all the neat custom things besides cards, like that's out on the table out there. And then also sincere.com, our social media sharing platform, the same thing, you can have that slash your ID. And that's where you can share different cards with different people to show them that, especially if you know somebody that's on Pinterest. So, and then the next thing is you want to contact at least three people. So this is day one. So like Diego said, you know, first 30 minutes, first 24 hours, contact three people and see, you know, ask them to go to your site, watch the video. If you're not in person, of course, if you can do it in person, do the MPP, do the card thing, do everything in person. But you want to get them to your site. You want to get them to ask them to try it. Just simply try it. You know, three people ask them, you know, you're my friend. Will you try this out for me? Think about like if you owned a restaurant and you opened up your restaurant, who are three people you would invite to come have dinner there, right? Your first three guests. Ask them to try it for one month for you. 39 bucks, you know, it gives them 33 cards. And if they don't like it or whatever reason, they can cancel it even in two to three weeks. It doesn't matter. They'll have a year to send out those 33 cards. Of course, if they like it, they might keep on doing it and they might upgrade, especially if you follow up with them and make sure that they're using it. So, but with that, also that's gonna generate that $50 back to you right away. So, and then you want to, um, you know, you can offer them also, you know, the 980 a month. If they, you do the 980 a month, it's about seven cards a month, same thing. And I tell people, you know, they roll over if you don't use them and you can cancel at any time. Even if you cancel in two to three weeks, you still have a year to send those cards out. So I had somebody at my networking luncheon the other day and she came in and I was, I was the featured speaker that day. And she said, Lori, this week I had to send out, I had to go and buy two cards. It cost me $12. I need to sign up for your system. Every time I see you, I think I need to sign up for it. And every time I forget, and this week I just spent $12 and you always preach this $10 thing, it's simple. <laughs> so yeah, so 10 bucks, two cards, or 10 bucks, seven cards. You know, so it's pretty simple. And then plus you earn 20% on all your cards and gifts that your customers send. And so, you know, and you're saving, you're making money and they're saving money. So you're do, doing them a benefit, right? So you want to help them to save money because everybody likes coupons, right? So, and then your next step is you want to get your system paid for. You want to get your money back, right? You want to be in the green. So you try to get three people. You show three people that want to do just what you did. You know, if you think this is a really cool tool for you to use in your personal and or business life, you probably know several people, but at least three, who it could help them in their personal or business life and if you really, truly believe it could help them in their business life, say if your uncle's a painter and you really believe it could help him in his business, why would you deny that for him? You know, why would you not share it with them? Why would you keep that from him? You want him to excel in his business, right? You want your friends and family to do well. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to talk to my friends and family. You know, but why? I mean, why would you not want to share it with them if you really truly believe that it can help them, right? So you want to share it with them. So you simply share it with three people who want to do the same thing you did, 
you're gonna have back $420. And so that gives you all your money back and then plus the extra 50, if you got your three customers in 30 days, that's $470. So right there, you're $75 in the green just from signing up. And then, you know, most of the time, most people are on the $31 a month subscription, right, for 100 points. So you wanna get that paid for too. So you wanna get a few customers. So if you get 15 retail customers at the 980, you can see the number there, it's almost your $31 a month is covered. Or if you get four of preferred wholesale customers, um, then your subscription's paid for too. Or any mixture in between, it doesn't matter. But, you, and you still get all the subscriptions, the commissions that go every single month, month after month after month. And so the next thing you want to do is you want to make a list of different people that you want to talk to about it and, you know, and make your long list. You want to go through and um, one thing I tell people is go through your Facebook, download all your people, go through your LinkedIn, download your people, get your phone out, write down all your people. You know, you want, those are all your people that eventually you want to share it with. And so with this also you can add a group. And so with that you want to add groups for all different things and you can add to it and you can change it later. But like, um, you know, to start off, friends, family, church. If you're in business, you might do your pr present contacts, your prospective contacts, your past contacts or your A, B, and C clients, however you want to organize it is totally customizable for you and your business. And you also want to go to the corporate site on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, it's send out cards, or it's facebook.com slash group slash send out cards corporate. You want to join that group. Lots of people are in there. If you have questions or anything, you can post a question in there and there's tons of people that a lot of times will answer you within seconds you'll get answers back. And then you want to go to find out where list, where events are in the list group on the corporate site under company. You can find out where things are going on in the air, different areas all over the world. So if you're in any city, you can join those, but also you can send people to those. I go to that often and look for, okay, you know, in Texas, what's going on? Okay, so Callie's having an event this day, and I'm emailing all my people in Texas, get to her meetings, you know? So anywhere that they're having meetings, you can send your people to. And so, um, so here, take, make a list of the top 10 people that you want to talk to about send out cards. Set up a time to meet with them. And so you can set up a time by either calling them, emailing them, texting them, Texting, of course, works really great. A lot of people respond the fastest that way, but you want to create that appointment. And if they're in person, of course, if they're local, you want to meet with them in person. If they're not local, you know, you can meet with them via Skype, via Google Hangout, or you can even just, if you can't get them to connect, you can ask them to go to your website and watch the DVD online. So, and then you want to make your big list and that's where you download all your contacts and you create a list of everybody in your sphere. Because the same thing, you know, if you believe that it's a great tool for you and it can be a great tool to help anybody else, you know, you want to share it with them so they can see how great of a tool it is too, right? And so when you do that, then that's also how you can build your network and build your customer base but at the same time, you're helping other people, right? So Zig Ziglar said, you know, the way you can be success and make a lot of money is just by helping other people get what they want. And the more you do that, the more you're gonna get what you want, right? So that's what I have. Good job. <laughs>